Okay, guys, yeah, just um, just checking the stream at the moment. So, yeah, first of all, sound, can you hear me? If you can, that's great. But for some reason, my stream is saying there's a bad stream. I don't know why. It's coming up with a big red bad. But hopefully, it won't be, and it will be okay. But if it is a bit jittery, that's what it is. But I have no idea why that is. Um, but, yeah, if everyone can hear me, I will start. Excellent. Okay. Right, I think... Is that right? Yeah, I think everyone should be able to see me now. I think. Can you see me? Hopefully. Um, if it's all a bit jittery, then I'm really sorry. But if it's not, hello, and welcome to another making of a bubblegum monster, which we haven't done for months. So uh, I'm looking forward to doing this one. Um, it appears to be working correctly, says so bring Holic, that's good. Um, holla, holla. Uh, yep, I can hear perfectly. Uh, says Nick plays Roblox and more. Obviously, do quite a lot of stuff. Uh, hi, 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 everyone. Hello. Uh, moderator, uh, I think Rebecca should be here. Rebecca is moderator. Um, so, ZJ, thank you for you. I know you do offer a lot. Um, but Rebecca is hardcore, she's always here, so we do rely on her quite a lot, and she is very good at her job. Um, so, that's cool. So I'm guessing everyone can see me, and hear me, and uh, yeah, so uh, what, I'd, what I'd start off with, so I've been trying to catch up on all the making of the bubblegum monsters, and in fact what I didn't do here is, if I just show you this uh, for you guys, uh, this was a um, little sort of... Uh, thing I was finishing off because I don't know if you guys remember but a while ago uh, we were doing Rockstar Foxy, Rockstar Freddy and we did do Rockstar, what's the other one that we did, we didn't do Chica so we did Bonnie, Rockstar Bonnie and so I fell a bit behind because I had uh, a day job doing all the stuff as well so I, I didn't have time to finish them off so I, I the last couple of days I've just been finishing off bits and pieces on them so I've Finished off now Rockstar Freddy, which I'm just trying to find the image for to show you guys if I can find it. And I've just been working today on Rockstar Foxy, which is where we are now with the, I'm gonna do the parrot. Um, but let me just show you first of all Rockstar Freddy if I can find him, if I can remember where I put him. Uh, he should be here. Sorry, should have arranged this beforehand, but here he is. Okay. So I did post this up. If you don't follow on the community tab, I did put him up on the community tab. So if you have seen that already, I apologize. But for, you, for those of you who haven't seen Rockstar Freddy, here he is in all his glory, singing away at Trafalgar Square. The guy behind doesn't look too impressed. Um, I can't imagine his voice being too good, to be honest, considering what they sound like in the game. So uh, I don't think he's gonna be going on anything like uh, America's Got Talent or Britain's Got Talent. Uh, but anyway, that was uh, that's Rockstar Freddy. So what I want to do actually, eventually, which would I think would be quite cool, is to have it so that we've got all four of the Rockstar groups. So we've got Chica, Freddy, Bonnie, and Foxy, and maybe they could do like a a, a, a jam together. In fact, I tell you what would be really cool is if one of you guys, if you, any of you are musical, if you've got or you're in a band, if you send us one of your favourite songs, then maybe we could have them jamming along to that. That'd be pretty cool. Um, so yeah, if you if you are, then put it in the comments below. And say yeah, I'm in a band, and um, get in touch that uh, get in, in touch that way, and send us send us the the music, and we'll, we'll maybe animate to that. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, Bill was in the fan made FNAF movie. He was the owner. He was. That is absolutely correct. And it's actually surprising how many people. Well, it's not hard to tell it's Bill if you know Bill. Um, but yeah, it's amazing how many people pick up on that. Uh, Peter already made a bendy model. I have made a bendy model. Uh, yes, uh, but what we will be doing at the end of this stream will be in the community tab again. Remember the community tab. Go to that because I will put or I, I will ask you guys um, what you want to see next. Now we may restrict it to non FNAF stuff because I'm feeling a bit FNAF'd out at the moment. I'm really FNAF'd off with FNAF. 
Um, so if we can have other characters that I will then model on the next bubblegum monster, then that would be really cool to see. Um, I just want to mention actually the new studio. It's the same room actually. It's just I put some shelves up, put up some of my favourite Where the Wild Things characters that I had just packed away in a box that I couldn't put up. Um, don't know. I think some of you guys might have seen on the last room the, the the Lego, the Lego FNAF, which I got from Comic Con, which was cool. All of the the three D printed bubblegum monsters, and these I got yesterday at um, Forbidden Planet. I don't know if you have Forbidden Planet in um, in other countries, but in the in the UK it's quite a popular sort of um, cartoon comic kind of um, shop. So there you go. There's uh, cupcake, cold cupcake. I thought he was cool. Oh. Springtrap, pop heads, I think these are called. Springtrap, and of course, Bendy, like someone just mentioned, Bendy. There he is, quite cool. In fact, I think he's my favourite. Well, I don't know, it's between Carl and Cupcake, uh, Carl the Cupcake and Bendy, I think. They're both very cool. Uh, so, anyway, without further ado, let's get on with making the parrot. So, uh, I won't be able to comment very much while I'm, I will let Rebecca answer any questions questions any of the general sort of question because Rebecca knows a lot <laughs> so she should be able to answer a lot of stuff um, but I will obviously be busy doing uh, this which is a Z for people that know it's called the software is called ZBrush or ZBrush if you're in America and you can use it for sculpting and that's what I'll be doing here or oh, I'll tell you what actually just so it's not just that screen what I forgot to do is I'll add the camera as well so that you can actually see me as well, not that any of you particularly want to see me, but at least I can kind of feel like I'm still there. Uh, video capture, device. so I'm do doing this on the fly, so hopefully I'll be able to find me. I'm going to fill up the whole screen now. I don't know, that's cool. Um, I don't have that on normal, sorry. That one. Uh, I know this bit's really boring for you. Uh, how can I make you more entertaining? Uh, sing a song. I can't sing. Right. That's better. Okay, hang on a sec. Bear with me. And but by magic. Hey, there we go. Right. Um, I'm pretty much dead on the inside, says just some random dude. Uh, you're not um, Springtrap, are you? Uh, what did you say you could do if you're in a music band? Because I play guitar and drums. Well, basically, if we're if you've got a really cool track that you think uh, would go well with the sort of rock star FNAF group, then send it across. As I did, that'd be really cool to see. And well, let me just check everything's working here, and I'll get on with with creating a parrot for rock star. Oh, actually, before I do that, sorry, let me just show you where I've got. So I have made, I have finished off Fox, uh, rock star Foxy, kind of. Um, if I go here, you can see I've got his body ready. I haven't got his head. We did make his head in one of the other live streams. I just haven't put it in there. So it's looking a little bit freaky at the moment with his, like his two eyes on a rod, which is a bit strange. But um, he's got his peg leg. I did actually notice, you know, one thing I didn't realise with the Rockstar ones is they've got five, they've got uh, like a normal hand. They've got four fingers. And the originals only have three, so I used the original body, so he's actually only got three, three fingers at the moment. So I might change that. I don't know, I might not, because, I don't know. What do you, what do you guys think? Do you think it's super important to have five fingers? Hey, Scottish Geeks here. Hello, Scottish Geeks, or Derek. Uh, he's got an awesome channel, check it out. Scottish Geeks Plays, where he, funny enough, plays games, which are uh, super fun to watch, especially with him narrating. Uh, okay, let me go back to ZBrush. Right, he's doing a nice T pose. There they go. See, just some random dude. He knows his 3D and animation because that's what you call it. Uh, yeah, T pose, which is your arms out like that, so that when you rig it, which put like joints, like a skeleton, and it's easy to do. Right, I'm waffling now, so I'm just going to get on and create the power if I can just get some reference up. So, Rockstar Freddy, uh, no, not Freddy, Foxy, Power. It's quite a simple character, so it should be quite fun and easy to do. Um, but I do, I do. If you if you like sort of artwork and you want to create your own 3D, I do suggest you try to use uh, Sculptress, which is a free package by Pixar Logic, because it's 
quite easy to use and it is like sculpting but obviously on a computer and you should be able to create the, the, the uh, FNAF characters using it uh, right so where are we okay so he's just got a kind of box body it's kind of a very basic shape so what I'll do is I'll just create a box and let's just um, go in here and create so you've got different primitives you can make so here we go here's a box Sorry if it sounds like an aeroplane's taken off as well. That's my computer. It's just it's quite a sort of big chunky desktop computer and using this software along with the actual software that's capturing the video ends up using up a lot of the processing so the fan comes on and just goes completely mental. Uh I want to turn this into a I've, I haven't actually used a brush for a, well, I think it's the last time we were making a bubblegum monster, which was about two months ago. So I'm a little bit rusty actually. Surprising how quickly you can sort of kind of forget well, maybe it's just me getting older, but I find it quite difficult to suddenly remember what I'm doing. Um, is it Alzheimer's or something? Uh, right, okay. So there's a box. This is going to be his body, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this tool here, which creates like a very simple sort of um, way of, well, manipulating the box. Uh, let me see. So there you go, I'm just making the box a little bit simpler. You can use these things to create more detail or less detail. So I'm going to keep it really simple, like that, and really simple that way as well. So literally it's just a cube, because he is pretty much just a cube. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these around a bit. Use symmetry. So feel free to chat among yourselves as well, because I know, like I say, I can't see your comments. So unfortunately, I'll uh, I'll just be doing this. But you guys always seem to be able to entertain yourselves with um, riddles and things. Riddle, riddles seem to be the favourite for some reason. People love love a good riddle. So this is this is going to be the side, believe it or not, of his um, body. Actually, let me just check. We're looking at here. Yeah, so that's the front. This is the side here. And there's the front. And then what I do is go back to that modeling thing. And just add a few little divisions back in here and here, and then maybe one along there. And then that way I could start moving and making it a little bit rounder the body. Also it's probably worth mentioning at this moment in time that we do have the gallery that comes out on a Friday which will be this Friday. Um, although we haven't had many entries actually in the last week so it would be good to see some of you guys putting in a lot of your talents and um, submitting more to the gallery. Uh, the last winner actually, oh I'll show you when I well, you can kind of actually will be able to see, won't you? Because you're the little screen, but he's up there, which is MK Foxy plays. So the winner of the gallery of of um, it's every two weeks on a Friday. The winner, chosen by you guys, because you get to vote again on the community tab, gets their picture put up on the background there, which is another cool reason to go with the whole um, new background because it meant I could really start showing off your artwork as well. So make sure you get your artwork in. Okay, so the parrot has kind of got little. I don't know if it maybe. I don't know if you guys think it's worth putting the picture of the parrot up as well, so you can sort of see what I'm doing and follow along, um, or not. But um, I, like I say, I'm just basically making his body at the moment, which is just kind of a box. It's pretty simple. And then I'm going to press this magic button here, which hopefully will kind of make it all rounded. Yeah, there you go. So now he's got kind of a rounded body. I don't know how f sort of wide he is as, as a character because I've only got sort of kind of front views, but that would do. It kind of looks right to me. Let's uh, just find his bottom bit up a bit. He's got quite a wide bottom. And there we go. That'll do. So that's that's his body. And now we need to make his wings. So the first thing I'm going to do here as well before I make the wings is save it because you always should save 
your work, the amount of work I've lost over the years. Uh, it's not even worth thinking about. When I think about how much work I've lost, it probably adds up to about a third of my life. Probably about a third of my life in lost work. It's quite depressing, really. Uh, okay, so this is parrot. I can call you parrot. Parrot. Uh, there we go. Right. So now I'm going to make. I'm going to go back to what we were doing before, and I'm going to make. Actually, what I could do is probably just use that, duplicate that, and I could probably use that as a wing. So if I just pull that one out, there you go. See, it's made a new one. And let's just check on the uh, check on the comments and make sure that I'm still streaming and everyone can see me. What I do is I keep stopping each time to just check on you guys. Um, the spam is gone, says Rebecca. Good. Someone just... You always get one, don't you? I don't know how people get enjoyment out of doing that, just uh, spamming away. But uh, some people do. So, yeah. So, right. Have I missed anything? Mm, no. No, no, no. I haven't missed anything. I hate you, Rebecca, says Rulander. Well... I'll tell you what, you must have done something wrong to, to annoy her uh, to have done that, Rolanda. So what I would suggest is don't do lots of caps, don't spam, and don't swear, and you'll probably be okay. Uh, so anyway, here we go. So guys, this is a Christian website, no swearing, just from Mandalu. Uh It's not Christian. We don't have any religion. It's just that we have a lot of young people as well, and so you have to respect uh, just some Mandalu. There are other people, not just uh, adults in the room. Which, uh, I guess, you know, if you're happy swearing when there's like eight-year-olds and things like that, then fair enough. But that's not really this place. So that's why we don't have swearing. Because uh, it doesn't really add anything. I mean, I think when, you, when you're having an argument or something, it's good. But typing, yeah, we, 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 there's no need for it. Anyway, back to where I, I was, which was the wings. The wings are the parrot. Uh, right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just swap back to the square mode for the wing so I can get a better idea of what I'm doing for the shape. So here we go. So this I'm going to now make a little cut along the middle of the wing here because he has like a pointy wing. And so I'm going to go to that tool. Uh, where is it? Here. And that way I can just add this line that goes all the way through and then if I go back to this move tool, it means I can start pointing, like make a little point at the bottom there. So it kind of looks more like a like a shape of a wing now. And I'm going to just move this this point up a bit, like so. So now we've got kind of a shape. Oh, in other news as well, I've just ordered a new 3D printer, which will allow me to print at quite big sizes to the point where I think I can print stuff that like like cosplay stuff so like masks and helmets and things like that which I think would be a really good project to try and create a full size real life like literally real life uh, character it may, maybe FNAF maybe another sort of famous character could be Bendy or I think it would just be really cool to have one that's like massive <laughs> I think that'd be good fun. So, uh, comment below if you, that's something you want to see. Because, like I say, I can't see the comments at the moment. So, it's worth. Or oh, when the stream's finished, put it in the comments so that I can actually see it. For some reason, have you, do you ever get that? We get like a, a bit of your lip, <laughs> hanging off. I've got a bit, like a bit of skin on my lips. Really annoying. So if I keep sort of puckering my lips, I don't. It's not sort of like in some some weird way. It's just that I'm trying to get rid of this bit of skin on my lip. Anyway, there's a bit of information you probably didn't need to know. But as some people know me quite well now, I do like to waffle while I work. It's a bit like whistling while you work, but I I waffle. Waffle while I work. Right. Okay. So there we go, there's one wing it's a bit shorter than that, probably like more like that. More like that. Let's see what that looks like. If I go back to the super smooth version. Yeah, it's kind of getting there. Maybe a little bit thinner. Something like that. And then maybe we'll move the bottom part of him out a little bit there. This wing. A little bit more. 
So this is a little bit different to what I usually do actually, because what I usually do is I'm more sort of sculpting in terms of like building up like what looks like clay or taking it away. But with this, it's kind of like keeping it really simple and it, you just get a nicer, smoother look to it. Um, when you sort of build it up the clay style way, you have to sort of do a lot more smoothing afterwards. There we go, so that's kind of done, I think. Yes. Here we go. One wing. So now what I have to do to make the other wing, and this is where I do like computers, is you can just mirror it. Whereas, obviously, if I was doing this in real life, I'd have to make it, which would be annoying. Okay. So that's that's his body and his wings. So again, we're going to start again with his head, but like I said before, keep saving because if you don't save, you may regret it, as I find very often. And I do think, I swear, computers have got a mind of their own. I swear they watch what you're doing. And they just know when you've spent a few hours on something, they just know that you're, you're enjoying it too much. So they're like, I know. I'm gonna make your life hell and crash. And it actually, it's usually just as just as I'm about to save. So yeah, they definitely they definitely watch. And there's nothing you can do about it. You can't even like punch them because it would just break the computer and make things worse. Not that you should ever punch someone just because they annoy you anyway. That's not that's not good advertising, is it? Uh, right, move. And I must admit, I'm really. Uh, I have to thank Rebecca so much for her hard work as a moderator because especially when I can't see anything what's going on obviously any, anyone could be just spamming and doing whatever so I do rely heavily on Rebecca so thank you Rebecca uh, sorry I'm just concentrating on what I've got to do here so here I am going to again change this into a simple cube and to do that I have to go into here and have to say poly cube there, there you go and that will make it into a nice simple cube again. The reason It's always best to keep things simple to start with. If you start off with something really complicated, you'll just end up with a big mess in the end and you won't be able to control it very easily. The, 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 the smaller amount of detail you have in it, the more you can manipulate things around quicker. Okay, so there's my cube. I'm going to stick that onto my main model by doing that. This is going to be his head. Move it up. There we go, that's going to be his head. So his head isn't quite as big as his body, but its he's got quite a big head. I think all the sort of FNAF style characters have got proportions of big heads. Well, most cartoons have actually, haven't they? So here we go. This is going to be his head. Ignore all the colours as well. These colours are just... Um, it just ZBrush just gives things different colours so you know what you're working on. It, obviously, he's not going to have a red head. He's actually green. So same sort of process whereby I will now make a, um, a sort of cut in the middle so it will allow me to create a sort of more detailed shape, more rounded shape anyway. So there you go, that's kind of in the middle there. And maybe I'll put one here as well. And then using the move tool, I can then start again moving this shape around to create a sort of like nice arc to the bottom of his head. And a bit of an arc on the top of his head as well. I know it's very square at the moment, it looks like a Minecraft character, but we'll press that magic button again, which makes everything nice and rounded. And maybe we'll pull that back of his head a bit as well to make that a bit, a bit rounded, and probably a little bit on the front as well. There we go. So now, if I go and hit that magic button again, there, got it sort of rounded. And actually, if you make, let me just turn it off again, if you make more lines in it, it becomes a kind of sharper detail to it um, because the way it's sort of working is it's only working with a really basic shape so it's just you're getting bigger curves basically but if I had another set of curves here watch what happens now it'll have a sharper edge at the bottom like if I made one here you can sort of see how that's affecting it so if you want nice sharp angles just keep adding lines in see like that and that I think is enough for that. And the great thing about ZBrush as well, I can go in afterwards, once I've got the basic shape, which is what I'm really just doing here, it's very basic shape, is then I can then start adding in all the details and sculpting stuff. So you can literally go from a box to a highly detailed character. I mean, 
There's a lot of characters I've made now over the years. I like made Pennywise from it, Donald Trump. There's a lot of things you can do. Um, and if you go on the Pixel Logic website, you'll you'll be blown away with the artwork on there. It's just some absolutely truly amazing pieces of art. Okay, because he's got a very square head for a parrot. But anyway, maybe not quite as long, a bit more squidged, kind of like that, maybe. Now. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply that, and this now allows me then to, like I was saying, I can use these other brushes up here to then start sort of sculpting on it. So, what I'll do is I might smooth this out a bit more, and then I can just start going in and literally just carving shapes out like that. I might make it a bit more detailed. In fact, what I'll do is I'll just go with my it's called Dynamesh, this is where you can kind of just, or oh, it is like modelling with clay now. Maybe his eyes are a little bit lower. Probably like halfway kind of there. There we go. That's where his eyes are going to be. Need a bit bigger. A bit bigger eyes. There we go. And now, oh, he's got a little sort of feather on his head, which is quite cute. What I probably do is I will make again, and this is the thing with 3D actually, it is quite cool, but it is also quite repetitive. So I'm going to now add another box. Let's pen that box we made earlier and put that. And this is going to be his beak, okay? So we're going to kind of put it there, get it to the right sort of size, which is, I guess, about there. To there and then I don't know if there's any real close up of of, of, of um, the parrot because the only ones I've got are ones of Foxy as a whole and then the parrot's kind of just quite small on his shoulder but anyway we can have a bit of artistic license here and just make up it's only a beak but make up what it looks like so let's go with that and then just um, maybe move them down a little bit like so move them in yeah sort of looking like a beak now kind of there we go and then what I'll do is again I'll use that magic button that makes everything kind of smooth Oh, see, that's a little bit too small now. So what I'm going to have to do is add in a few more lines, like we did before. So I guess this one it's called Z Modeler. Go in and insert some more lines. So I'm put one up there, one down here, maybe one in the middle, and one at the end here. Let's see what we get now. So see how it's sort of it's like putting like pins or pegs in and holding like putting up a tent. If you haven't got enough pegs it will collapse or it won't retain its shape so this is what you're kind of adding more lines it's kind of keeping its rigid shape around those areas where you put the lines it's just a really sort of easy way of um, maintaining sharp edges actually what I might do is add another another edge just in here or somewhere um, ok I've got to go back to that tool and just put it in there and then that way what I can do when I go back to the other one is just sort of make it like he's got a little bit of a oh, I don't know, a sort of bit of a um, tapered kind of shape to the side of his beak like that let me put down like that and then I think that's too big on the top so it's probably more like that don't know what it's from, like from the side but like I say, a bit of artistic license, we're going to have to make some stuff up. Uh, is that big enough, what do you reckon? Something like that. As I'm trying to work out if he's got like a bottom beak. 
Maybe he has, maybe he hasn't. What we can do is if we duplicate that one, we duplicate and then I'll just rotate that one round like that. And the good thing is if you hold down shift with this software, it, it keeps it like snaps it to certain angles. So you can make sure it's like completely 360 degrees. Let me just shove that in there. Like that. Because I assume he has got a bomb beak, but I don't know for sure. Um, let's, let's use the move tool and just manipulate it into, into place. Like so. Do you reckon? Yeah, kind of. Maybe have it open. So he's not going. There you go. It's always good to do sound effects. Oh, bum. Sorry. <laughs> totally caught that on. Um, let me just freeze that first of all. Freeze. Rotate. That's better. Right. I'm going to make his. I'm going to go back to his head now. Uh, save again. Save. And then I'm going to make his uh, eyes a little bit bigger. Just because it's always good to make cartoon eyes as big as possible. It always makes them look a little bit cuter. I'm going to move his beak up a little bit. So it's in between his eyes a little bit more. going to then shrink his head down a little bit as well. I think it's a little bit sort of big. Let's just move that. Okay. And then just move that out a bit. Let's make the feather on his head. So again like I say, a bit repetitive, but what you can do is just add a box. Add a box at the box. Where's the box? There's the box. Move it up. Move up there. And stick that on your head. I'm surprised Scott Cawthorn hasn't opened up his own pizzeria yet. He'd make an absolute killing on it, wouldn't he? And you could have like the animatronics, and it'd be really cool to see that. Okay, so yeah, this is gonna be the feather on his head. And again, I feel like a broken record now, but I'm just saying the same things basically. But yeah, I'm gonna make a insert shape here just to sort of create a feather shape, so I can then move that out like that. I can move it around wherever I want. And because it's quite um, simple in shape, I can, when I do the when I do the uh, special button thing, it all it will sort of round everything off quite nicely. Hopefully, round off. In fact, I don't think I need those lines. Let's have another look. Let's see what that does. Yeah, that might work. Let me just see. If I just make them a bit more pointy, a bit more feathery. Kind of like that, yeah, that's good. And then maybe it bends over a little bit like that. Oh, where's he gone? There he is. Might his head and everything is a little bit big at the moment, uh, a bit small at the moment. But what I do is I'll go in in a bit and just um, just sort that out. What I do is I'll make this actually into a mesh now, so I can now extrude that bomb bit out. And make it so it's got a little bit at the bottom there, like that. Oh, uh, yeah, that'll do actually. There you go. Make that. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe make it a little bit thicker. And maybe a little bit smaller, like that. There we go. 
and then I will probably stick all these together now just for now so what you can do is you can merge different objects together so we've made his beak separately and his feather separately to his head but I'm merging them all into one which would just allow me to then quickly scale it up a little bit so that it looks a little bit more proportionate to the rest of his body and while we're at it let's quickly uh, we'll save again and then also make a little pole for his head to be attached to his body so what I'll do is go in here and make a cylinder like that and I will then stick that on his body like that where is it? there he is a bit big so we'll scale that down like that oh There you go. And he now needs to have a couple of eyes because you know it's good to always be able to see where you're going. Especially if you're a bird. Finding trees isn't good. What I might do is separate everything out again. Because I've just realized what it's done is where I've combined it. It with that special button that makes everything rounded and smooth when you combine stuff it kind of puts it back to its original kind of basic shape so as you can see the beak here is really basic looking but the good thing is I can just split it back out into different parts again and then I can just hit my special button again like this uh, where's my special one? there and that way it'll make it all look good again hit that one uh, dynamic and actually if I apply that the dynamic effect on there and then I could group stuff together again and it wouldn't it wouldn't go into basic shape it would keep its it would maintain its shape so now I can just do what I want really with these shapes I can start adding more detail to them like if he had little nostrils or something but I don't think he does I think he's very basic but let's make uh, let's make his eyeballs now so uh, again I'm going to make some a sphere rather than a cylinder. We go in here, make a sphere, go back to him and add that in by going here. Oh, append sphere. And go there. Yeah, it'd also be interesting to know what you guys think. I know I mentioned the 3D printer earlier. Um, but yeah, it would be good to know what you guys think about that in terms of maybe doing a sort of like a few parts of like creating these these the, the, the different parts for the character and building this giant size version I say giant size version like a full size version of the of one of the FNAF characters maybe Golden Bonnie or Freddy but then again in the future it could be anything you know it could be a giant size Bendy it could be a giant size Tattle towel, or it could be anything we can imagine. Okay, so there's his eyes. Uh, I think you guys have seen this before, but there's a quite a good little technique that I try to do with the eyeballs, which is to make eyelids. Um, is what you can do is let me just hide everything else. There is a quick way of hiding everything, and for some reason, I've, it used to be a, a certain way of doing it, and now they've changed it, and I don't know how to do it. So I have to hide everything individually. But anyway. So what I what I do here is I mask out the bits that I want to be eyelids, like so. So that's kind of like an eyelid now. You can sort of see what it's going to look like. But then what you can do is a really good little tool in here where you can kind of extract what is actually called extract. You can extract it out, and it will make. So that's a bit big. So I'll just make it a little bit smaller. But you can extract stuff out, and there you go. You've got kind of an uh, an eyelid there, and then. What you can do is you can run this sort of smoothing effect on it, and that will just kind of make it look a little bit more sharper edged. And there you go, you've got, you've got your eyelids there. So if we go back and unhide everything. His eyes are actually a bit. I kind of like them like that, those. 
But anyway, in fact, I've made two eyes. He's got an eye patch. It's not much point having the other eye. We'll put it in anyway, just in case. It's a he's got a joke eye patch. He doesn't really need it. So there you go. This is a riot, and let's make his eye patch. And what I might do for this is just duplicate an eye and move it out because this might be the easiest and quickest way of doing it, and just squidge it down like that because then it's already in the sort of kind of right position, and it's already the kind of right shape. So there's not that much to do with it. I'm gonna save again. I just get paranoid when I get certain so far I swear like I say my computer's just going it's just getting ready. It's getting hungry. He hasn't saved for an hour. <laughs> right, uh move. Make that into a nice patch shape. Here we go. Like that. I might actually what I'll do is I'm gonna make it a little bit more of a basic shape. You can run this thing called a Z red. Oh, what I'll show you. I'll show you. So here it's made up lots of little squares. If I run this thing, it will keep the shape, but it will make it a lot more simple in squares. Be a lot less squares. Make it even less than that. And hopefully, I can then yeah, I can. It's just easier then to sort of get get to the shape you want quicker. And then if you need to add lots of details, like for example, what if it had lots of little rivets on on this eye patch for some reason or other? Then I could then run that and uh, more detail again and start sort of drawing in rivets and all the cool little details. But you really want, like I've mentioned earlier, you really want to keep everything as simple as possible while you're making your shapes. Otherwise, you just run into trouble where you're trying to create a really nice flowing, easy curve and you just can't because there's just too much detail. I'm trying to think of a sort of real life scenario of that. Um, where you just would just struggle with creating that shape. But anyway, there's his eye patch. In fact, what I could do is probably then even simplify that even more. Like that. That hasn't simplified it that much more. But anyway. And then maybe run that other tool that makes everything smooth. Kind of. See what it looks like around those squares. Maybe a little bit shorter. There we go. Little eye patch for the birdie. And then he needs a strap, doesn't he? So to do a strap is quite cool. What you do is you go in here, and there's this one called strap, funny enough. Um, and I think that should just work. Yeah, just works. That's cool. And then what I can do, oh, move that. Oh, I don't know why it's doing that. Oh, OK, I'll just leave it like that for a minute. And then move it around. You can sort of continue it, so you can stop and start, you don't have to do it all in one go, which means you can get it to go exactly where you want it to go, and around here, and then we want to end up back on the patch on the other side, so about here, there we go, now obviously it's a bit thick as well, so another cool thing you can do is if you change your draw size, this is my draw size, this big red circle, if I make that really small, and then click back on it, it changes the shape, or the size, which is cool. So there we go. That's that's his uh, uh, eye patch strap ready to ready to go. Just tuck it in there. Um, what have I missed? His eyebrows. So I've got his little. He's got. He's quite angry. But then again, okay, Foxy is as well. He's just it's just rubbed off on him, hasn't it? The anger of Foxy. I'm just gonna move that down a bit. I just notice it's almost over his other eye. And actually, maybe that's a little bit higher up, up there. Let's move that up a bit. So this is what I like about ZBrush. It's just so flexible. It's like almost like you're modeling something in real life. You can just move stuff around so easily. Whereas in traditional 3D packages, it's always using the gizmo, which is, this is a gizmo here, which you can use in here. But I just find it so much easier. It's almost like hands-on. I much prefer it. I think I might... Um, 
No, I was gonna. What I was gonna do was just draw on his eyebrows. But I think no, we'll, we'll keep them like we've been doing. We'll, we'll add them in as as boxes and just start a game with a box and make an eyebrow out of it. Okay, so here we go. This is his eyebrow, and I will just do one because we can mirror it, which is again another reason why computers are good. Computers are kind of like you can't live with them, you can't live without them. I just generally do, I generally do hate computers, but it's just annoying because they just can do so many cool things. It's just they can irritate the hell out of you as well. Well, me, maybe it's just me. Brush, go back, and I'm going to add some divisions in. Uh, one like there. I'm only going to add two for now because, again, keep it simple. Don't try to do too much, and then that way you can get the shape you kind of want without it going too well, without you spending too much time just trying to get to that shape. And then I'm just going to move that into place like that. Because again, with ZBrush, this this side, this big red brush is really cool because you can make it really small. I could make it really small and then just go in and really just move out one little point there, which is sometimes useful. But I can go really big and then move everything about like that. So he's quite angry, like I say. I think he's even more angry than Foxy going by his eyebrows. He's got very angry eyebrows. Kind of like that. Here we go. Angry. Let's see what we got with uh, the special dynamic button. It's not that button. There we go. There is it. There it is. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. That'll do. Angry. Angry eyebrow. Let's duplicate that and put it to the other side. So go in. Oh, actually, apply that first of all, so it becomes a natural mesh. Duplicate it. Sorry if I. I know this. This isn't really a tutorial, so um, I'm going way too fast to really explain things. But it just hopefully gives some of you guys that aren't really into 3D. It gives you some idea of what's involved and why it takes so long to create a film with 3D in it because it does take a long time and this sort of stuff is just really hurried uh, what is that? oh I know why uh, like if you were making an actual film like for example if you worked for Pixar or you worked for one of the big special effects companies that do like um, the Marvel films like a character would be in production for like four or five months just creating all the details and that's just one character and that's not including the animation it's just all the modeling and the concept art it just takes a long long time okay that will do so what we what we got left i think that is kind of it he's got like a little a little bit on the front here let me just freeze this and uh, apply that so here we go so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do this one bit here uh, let's just duplicate that, uh, not duplicate it, multiply it up. I'm going to draw another little mask on the front here for his, like a little, what do you call it, chest piece, like a bib. Uh, oh, pff. go there like that. There we go. Bib, what am I doing? There's a, total loss where the reference was there, sorry. There. A little bib and if you remember if you were here earlier when I was doing the eyelids I'm gonna do a similar thing to that in that I'm just gonna just check it yeah sometimes it goes all the way through you can see the mask going completely through there let's just hide that bit and let's extract that out so there you go he's now got kind of a little bib 3d bib Let's just smooth it out. Uh, where's this 
smoothie, smoothie, smoothie bun. That one. Keep smoothing. Maybe just move it down a little bit like that. Okay. There we go. And then finally, finally, last bit is I need to make a stick up his bum because <laughs> that's what he's got. Right, uh, a pen, cylinder, there we go. And stick that on there. If I can make it smaller. It was working a minute ago. Must be pressing the wrong button. There we go. Oh, no. there you go. So that will, I won't go through all that now, but I will transfer this into that other package, which was my, which you shot, saw at the beginning with Foxy in it. And I will add Foxy's head and I'll add the parrot. And then Foxy will be done. And he'll have his parrot as well. So there we go. You can change the lighting and everything. I think I've shown you guys this before, but it's quite cool. You can change the material so you can make him like a sort of cool Terminator T1000 parrot, which would have been, I think, personally, a lot more terrifying than the T1000. Sort of a brush metal type look. Yeah, it's always cool to play with these. But anyway, there you go. That's uh, Rockstar Foxy Parrot. Ta da! Right, what have I missed? What have I missed? I'm looking at the wrong thing. Uh, okay, is this wretched Demi B half asleep upon my knees and freak from a mandri? No, it's Eric! The half a B says uh, Derek. I have no idea what you're talking about there, but anyway, it did sound good. Oh, hang on, sorry, I've gone to that. No, wrong one. There we go. Uh, anyway, so yeah, what did you guys think? Did you like that? I hope so. It was fun to make. Uh, what Q and A? Anything? Questions and answers. Let's have a look. What have we got? Oh, actually, see, as we finish now. Uh, what we should do is let's come up with five characters that we can put in the vote for next for next. Well, it won't be next week actually, because next week will be the uh, we do the quiz, which actually Rebecca has been doing the questions for, and we know how tough Rebecca is, so that probably means that the quiz is going to be pretty tough. That looks very good, uh, says Captain Red. Thank you, Captain Red. So yeah, pretty cool, says Derek. Thank you. So yes, uh, next week is the quiz. I will probably do another making of a bubblegum monster after that. Mm, actually, no, what we'll do is we'll do it at the end of the month because that will give us enough time to start putting them back up on the banner because we haven't done that for a while. And I'll go back through whoever last won the last one after whichever one is on the banner at the moment will get up on the banner. Uh, you need more subscribers for this type of work, says Emily. Thank you, Emily. Um, yeah, I don't know. We don't know what with subscribers. I mean, to be fair, 180,000 subscribers. I'm humbled. Absolutely humbled. But uh, that would be cool. So, yeah, if you know anyone that likes that kind of stuff, then um, please let them know. You should make SCP-106. Uh, oh, what is SCP? Oh, that rings a bell. Hang on a minute. What is SCP-106? I'm going to look really stupid now, aren't I? SCP-106. Ugh. No, I don't know what that is. What is SCP? I'm totally behind the times now. I'll have to look that up, but it does look quite cool. So, okay, let's put that down. Let's uh, let's put this down on my notes. So we've got SCP. In fact, Rebecca will make a note of this as well. SCP-106 as a suggestion. SCP-106. Um, 
you can pronounce it the CEEs, the CEEs, for anyone wondering. The Black Death killed half of Europe. Um, that was a bit, very, uh, a bit random. <laughs> Uh, please do an Indoraptor. That's a good one. I still haven't seen Jurassic Park yet. Came out on Thursday. I want to see that. Indoraptor. Good one. That is a good one. So yeah, we've got uh, SCP-106 down on the list. And yes, uh, we've got Indoraptor. Baldy from Baldy Basics. Okay. It's in the list. Baldy from Baldy Basics. Remember, we're going to be avoiding um, FNAF for now. Body basics. Although, I don't know if it's, is SCP from some new FNAF thing that I'm totally missing. What is this going on here? Rebecca's now saying, why are we here? What's life all about? Is God really real? Or is there some doubt? Well, tonight, we're going to sort it all out. For tonight, it's the meaning of life. What's the point of all of this? I have no idea what's going on. I have missed a lot in the short time that I was making a parrot. Didn't rhyme that bit, did it? Can you do a TMT, Mickey? It will take a lot lot of work. Who's Mickey from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Who's Mickey? Oh, is he the skateboarding guy? I can't remember now. TMT, TM, Ninja Turtle, Mickey. Mikey, I mean. Mikey? Oh, Michelangelo, of course he is. Sorry, I'm being really dumb. Yeah, Michelangelo, that would be cool. What I would probably do is if he wins... But I think that's a good one. We'll put that down on the list. Um, the, what I'd probably do with that is I'd make the body, because the body is the longest time-consuming bit, and then we'd probably just make the head on the live stream. I think that works quite well, because I don't want to sort of like bore everyone to death. So we put TMT Michelangelo. TMT. But is he just called Mikey now, is he? Is that kind of his, his nickname? Do K Kanye West? Mm, mm, I don't like him, <laughs> so I'm not going to do him. Uh, yeah, I prefer cartoon characters to some. I guess we could do a character. We did do Donald Trump. The new Jurassic movie is really good. Cool. It does look good. The trailer looks really good. It looks more like a proper horror movie, which I like. Do you think you'll ever do model painting with some of your figures? I've seen that, Derek, actually, and I would think that would be really cool. That would be really cool. I think I may start doing that. I think we should try. Maybe we'll just do that as a live stream, just painting a figure. Rick and Morty, yeah, Rick and Morty's good. Okay, we've got five. Okay, we've got Rick and Morty. Well, actually, I'd have to just one or the other, though. Rick and Morty, maybe do one one week and one the other, depending on. If it wins the vote, I'll do one one, one week and one the other. We won't have a vote for the, over the, that period. So, for the five, we've got to so stop, stop, stop with the. Folks coming in. Uh, we have got SCP-106. We've got the Indoraptor. And we've got... Is it Baldy or Baldy? Baldy from Baldy Basics. TM, TM Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Mikey or Michelangelo, as I used to know him. And we've got... <laughs> predictive text. We've got Rick and Forty. Or better known as... If predictive text didn't do that. M M Rick and Morty. That's our five. I will put them up onto the community tab so that you guys can see that. Um, I was just thinking I was on full screen there. And that will be something to vote for. Wait a minute, make, make yourself into a cartoon film. Yeah, I, could try, I don't know, that'd be difficult. Ah, uh, yeah. Do a Stormtrooper, says Clown Vlogs. Remember that Clown Vlogs for the next live Bubblegum Monster and vote. Uh, put it in then and we, we might put it in for that vote. Yeah, like Rebecca says, no more, no more suggestions, please. Can you make a turkey boy? What's a turkey boy? I mean, is it just a boy that looks like a turkey? Is that a boy that dressed like a turkey? Turkey boy. Turkey boy. Is that, or is that a cartoon character? Turkey boy. Let's have a look. I don't see anything other than... No, there's no, there's no such thing as, a, as a turkey boy. I don't know what that is. 
Uh, Rebecca Ferguson, how do you win? I put it in for the gallery. Did you get my song choice? Uh, I haven't looked at ZJ. I will look, obviously, because I've been. Did you, ZJ, did you put that song choice in while I was sculpting? Because if you did, I would be the most amazing multitasking person to have been able to listen to your song while not having any headphones in and also sculpting the parrot. But yeah, I will, I will look at it later. Uh, well, someone does not remember me, says Larry. Uh, sorry, Larry. I do. I think I remember Larry Lama. Yeah, Larry Lama. I remember the Lama. Yeah. I suggest a suggestive suggestion of suggestiveness that is ever so slightly suggestive. That's uh, that's very suggestive. Uh, suggestive of you, Derek. But wh where does this all come from? What is this all about? Where's all this suggest? I suggest. I suggest you not to suggest. Says Clan Vlogs. I suggest that's a very suggestive idea. If you could make enough SCPs, you can make a short SCP movie. Also, you could read the articles on them. They really help. Yep, I know nothing about SCP at all. Maybe I did. I love the way you spelt maybe, Zedja. That's a really cool way of spelling it. It's like baby, but with an M. <laughs> um, so, what, what else was I going to say? That, I think, that's it. That is it um, for now. What I will do, keep an eye on, if you haven't watched the community tab today, there is a new, like I said, a Freddy, a Rockstar Freddy up there, uh, which I believe Sinkum, is it Sinkum 1? I think someone won it earlier today. Uh, that's that's up there, that will end up on the banner as well. Probably as a traditional pink, we don't put coloured stuff up on the banner because it's all bubblegum monsters, that's the whole point. You suggested no more suggestions. Yeah, can we stop with the suggestions now? <laughs> um... So what did you think of Affinity, Avengers Affinity War? Do you know what? I still haven't seen it. I still haven't seen it. And like everyone was raving about it. I still haven't seen it. I've seen Solo. I actually quite liked Solo. What did you guys think of Solo? I really liked it. Um, I actually much preferred it to The Last Jedi. The more I read about The Last Jedi afterwards, the more I realised it was a bit rubbish. In fact, um, there was three of those Pogue, or what are they called, those little penguin things. I went into the charity shop the other day and there was three of them, three of the soft toys, so obviously not a lot of people liked it. Uh, call is coming first though. Call is coming. Oh, right. Fall. Yeah. Fall is coming. So, yeah. So that's it for now. There is there is another, like I say, I keep saying this, it is, on the, it is in the works. So if just like it's Last week was the first week where I had enough time to actually start concentrating back on the videos for YouTube, which is why I've, I've sort of had a fresh start, did all this. I've been concentrating on the Kids vs FNAF, which will be out very shortly. I'm not going to give it a date because I never know, but it, it, it is coming out very shortly. Uh, I did a little, I didn't know, I don't think anyone saw it, but I put on the community tab a, uh, a one of Bonnie a test with motion capture. Now, if you don't know what motion capture is, motion capture is when, when you see it in the films and the make them, they have little balls on them, like little ping pong balls, and they move around and, and it's transferred onto the character. Now this is quite exciting, especially for me, because as an animator it takes a very long time to animate, so to be able to do stuff live action almost opens up a, 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 a massive canvas of possibility in that not only will it mean that I can create hopefully more realistic animations quicker, meaning in turn that I'll then be able to create the videos quicker, but we might be able to start doing live streams with animated characters. But I don't know yet. It's one of those technologies that's so new to me, I haven't looked into it properly. So I'm going to just concentrate on finishing off all the things I've promised, which is a FNAF versus kids and a sequel to FNAF, which is in the works, but it's going to take a long time because unlike the first one, which had one character in it, this has at least four characters in it. And, and when I say characters, I mean real people, like acting. Uh, Clan Vlogs, your channel was so entertaining. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Clan Vlogs. I, I'm trying. It's difficult, um, like I say, because I've worked full time. I am trying to wean off of the full time work so that I can do this stuff, which I love doing. I love making films. And so, what we will eventually hopefully be doing is just making films and, and art and printing and 
cool stuff like I say like making full size characters cosplay stuff things like that which I love doing so I need to, I need to water my cat bye well I'm assuming I need to water my cat you've got to water your cat why have you got to water your cat or give your water cat I'm not sure I don't even know what that means really uh, take care yep so, uh, says Rebecca clan vlog I bet it's difficult uh, it is what juggling between uh, sort of juggling <laughs> excuse the pun there clown vlogs uh, it is difficult juggling between work, like boring work, and um, actually, I hope none of my clients are watching this because it's really exciting work sometimes. Uh, but normal everyday nine to five work and m my YouTube stuff is di is difficult juggling between them. Make a saw fan film, please. That would be really cool. I'd love to do a saw fan film. A bit of gore. Uh, it's funny though because. I've made so many now like kid friendly films that we have like to put it in perspective okay so the FNAF versus kids films which was a complete joke like it was like it's for my son and his cousins it was to do a, as a fun video that I just put up there because it was like well it's kind of fun and that makes up about that with the other one that we did uh, the two kids ones makes up about 50% of all of the views on the channel. 50% of the views on the channel. Those two videos, <laughs> which is crazy, right? And it's so like clan vlogs. I loved your FNAF movie. Thank you. That took six months of work, right? And a lot, you know, a lot of blood, sweat and tears. And it's got, I, think, I don't know what's going on. It's got like four and a half million views or something like that, uh, which, you know, it's good. Uh, but the real FNAF versus Bonnie has 14 million views in five months. In five months, 14 million views. The FNAF movie's been up for over uh, two years, I think it is. Nearly two years. And yeah, it's got four and a half million. Replace the blood with runny bubble gun. Yeah, that would be like, like the get out clause there. Yeah, it's not, it's alright. His head did get torn off, but it's alright. It was just filled with bubble gum. Uh, yeah, six months, clan vlog. I know, crazy, right? In fact, that's, that, that's not the only film. There was a film. At least we got four and a half million views on that. Check out another one of our videos called um, the uh, the Great Spill Run, which was one of the first sort of like film type ones, which was has an original something to do with FNAF or anything like that. So an original script that I wrote. I think that's got a total of about four and a half thousand views, and that took about six months to make. Which is where it was like, actually, if we make films that we still enjoy doing, but actually everyone else kind of knows as well, like FNAF, Pokemon and things like that, then we'll get seen by a lot more people. <laughs> so that's kind of where it's now gone where we just make stuff that we enjoy, like horror stuff is cool. And that's kind of where the the original sort of side of Bubblegum Monsters, which is kind of monsters, is Bubblegum Monsters comes from. I came here from Bill's channel. Thank you, I need to water my cat. Did you come from one of the... Um, the uh, the videos of the sort of explaining videos because we do that still I've got one with Bill in the works at the moment which is actually FNAF related but I don't want to give anything too away because it might it might not go ahead at my I haven't even filmed it yet four and a half million message retracted T Mandel it's okay I don't know if it was just spelled I understood what you were saying now yeah four and a half million as uh, the FNAF movie I think's got or were you saying it's got four and a half million it is about that though. Uh, so yeah, so that's kind of where we're at at the moment. I've done the set. This is I much prefer to the background we had, which was a door with a few sort of printed up posters in the background. Uh, remember, if you want to get up there, which is MK Foxy plays, that was a piece of artwork, and he won. Then remember to enter the gallery, which will be on Friday. So go to the last gallery, and um, if you want shout outs as well, put comments in there. But if you want your artwork. Submit it using the email. Um, I think Rebecca would have now, but uh, bubblegummonsters at gmail.com with gallery in the title with your piece of art. If you've got a piece of artwork that you really want to show, then please submit it because we need more entries actually for this week and it would be really cool to see your artwork um, and it may get up there for the next, for the next gallery. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Hey, Peter, what are the figurines on the shelf to your far right? Um, these ones, these are really cool. The f I saw these when I was in Amsterdam. I can't remember the name of the actual... Furry Bones. That's it. Go. They've got a website. 
furry bones. Let me look. I can't see what I'm showing here. Let me go back to where. There you go. Uh, furry bones. That's that's a, called Yeti. This one. These are the first ones I got, which I thought were really cool. Uh, this one is called Mystic Calls. And he's like a little dragon, a little baby dragon suit. Which is really like There's loads of them. I do loads and loads of them. And this one is called. Oh no, hang on. This one's called Mystic Calls as well. So it can't be called Mystic Calls. It can't be both Mystic Calls. I don't know. Oh no, this is. Sorry. There's the name for that one. This one is called. Um, yeah, this is. Furry Bones Rex, because I guess it's like a T Rex. And this one is. Uh, no, because it. Oh, I don't know what this one's called. It doesn't have a name on it. Yeah, it's Under Beds. That one. Because it's the kind of thing you'd get under a bed like a monster. <laughs> but yeah, I think they're really cool. I'd like to get more of them. But yeah, they're called yeah furry bones. Uh, there we go. I like your FNAF series, says Mike. My question, thank you. Yeah, well, like there will be another one. There possibly might be another. I can't. I haven't even written a script for it or anything. But there might possibly also be another Joy of Creation one because I know a lot of people like that as well. Which we did in collaboration with Iron Horse Cinema. If you haven't seen, if you haven't seen ours, then watch it. But there's a first part on Iron Horse Cinema as well. In fact, it might be worth us both releasing just both of them together. Uh, wow, thanks for the spoiler, clown vlogs. Oh, I'm not going to watch... Oh, Bill was the phone guy. No, it's it's not a spoiler. Um, uh, I need to water my cat. It's not a spoiler. It's just... Um, he he's actually, actually, he's not the phone guy. He's not the phone guy, so it's not a spoiler at all. He's on the phone, but he's the boss. He's not the phone guy. So it's not a spoiler, so don't worry about it. But Bill from Bill's channel is in it. A FNAF 3 series would be amazing. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah, actually, FNAF 3 would be would be cool because FNAF 3 is uh, the uh, theme park, isn't it? The um, the sort of a band, the, the sort of museum pieces and stuff. That would, yeah, that was another. Yeah, it's you have to pick your battles, and at the moment it's going to be FNAF 4 kind of scenario. Uh, but it's got a lot of lore in it as well, I think. But, see, the problem with FNAF, as I'm sure most of you know, is it's a lot of mumbled, jumbled up stuff. I, Scott Cawthorn started that, and he had no intention of doing that stuff, all the, all the sort of background stories. And I think what he did is he just put a few posters in there with the kids missing and stuff because he thought it was quite cool. And then people start picking up on the first game and then he was like, oh, I could start adding to this. And then he just like adding to it. And then he wrote the books and then it was just like, just so many things don't add up. Um, so you have to kind of mix in. It's a bit like the Jurassic Park dinosaurs. Like there's this like core bit of DNA there that kind of works. But there's just so bit, many bits missing. So you have to put in your own frog DNA. Um, but obviously it's not frog DNA, it's, it's your own stuff made up to glue all of Scott Cawthorn's weirdness together. So that's what is happening with that second movie. Um, so how long have you been doing this stuff, said Black Wolf Plays? Um, it depends what you mean by doing this stuff. Like if you mean YouTube, 2011. So, seven years. If you mean animation, artwork, or 3D is probably a better way. So artwork I've been doing since the age of three or something like that. Once, like once I could get hold of crayons and things, I'm sure my mum and dad were really pleased with all the artwork I did all over the walls and doors, but I've been doing it for a long time. But 3D from about 1996. So probably before a lot of you were born, I've been doing 3D. Basically when Jurassic Park came out in 93, I was like, wow, this is amazing. And then as soon as there was 3D packages for desktop computers, I was like, I've got to do that. I really want to do that. So that's when I started to learn it. Um, I missed a lot, most of the live stream, didn't I? Says T Lopez. Uh, yes, you did. We were making uh, the parrot for. Uh, you can watch it back. You can watch it back there. It's cool. I want to turn them. I want them to turn black. What the? Um, is that like? Oh, is this whole? I see a red door. I want to paint it black. I want. I see a pink door. I want to paint it black. Uh, I'm glad Scott Cawthorn uses his money responsibly. Yeah, he does. I, I, he's seen. I've never spoken to him. Don't know the guy. 
I'd love to speak to him. He's he seems like a genuinely nice person. I see Rebecca and and Derek are just having this like weird conversation. I don't even know what's going on there, but good on you. Don't know what's going on. No spoiler. The new Jurassic movie has a twist. Oh, that's cool. Because I don't know how they're going to carry on the Jurassic movie, right? What are they going to do with it? Like it's like. You know, they've, they've had the whole thing with the different islands and then they sort of actually opened up the park again and it was actually kind of working as a full-time part until it all went wrong. And then it's like, okay, now what are they going to do? I mean, like, the one thing they must have learned at this point is don't have dinosaurs. So, like, surely they should just blow them all up? I don't know. Anyway. Um, how long have you known Bill? Sorry for repeating. Uh, known Bill for... 2016, June 2016. It was through a. You can see it on our channel. It's uh, called Snowboarding Girl Chased by Dog, I think it is, or something like that. And it was basically. There was this viral video about two years ago of this woman snowboarding down a hill and she had a bear chasing her. And it went viral. And I thought it was funny to replace the bear with a dog because before that, like years before that, in the UK, there was one called Fenton the Dog where this dog gets loose in uh, Richmond Park in the UK and it chases a load of deer and then this old guy's running after the dog going Fenton, Fenton and I, I just thought it'd be funny to replace the bear with the dog and have this Fenton, Fenton and chasing the girl and, um, I, and I'd seen some of Bill's real or fake stuff and I just thought it'd be funny to send it to him so I sent it to him and and he came back with, oh, is this real? He actually thought it was real. Because he'd obviously never seen the Fen Fenton thing, because I think it went viral just in the UK, and he, obviously he's in the US. So I had to then explain, no, it's fake, we did it as a joke kind of thing. And then he was like, oh, actually, I do real and fake stuff. Do you want to help out sort of debunking some of the real and fake stuff? I'm like, yeah, okay, that's cool. So we ended up doing a lot of uh, real and fake stuff as well. Uh, that's it. That's it, I think. I think I've covered everything I'm doing. So yeah, oh, there'll be more real FNAF stuff as well. Hopefully, there'll be a more consistent amount of real. Like I know you guys, a lot of you guys like the real FNAF stuff that goes up on the community page, where you get a lot of the FNAF characters in real life situations, which is why it's called real real FNAF because they're in these real scenarios. And uh, yeah, I just haven't um, had enough time to do them because they do they take a little while, take a couple of hours a day, um, but. Hopefully I've got someone else working on that as well, so they will become more regular. And then again, it might turn into other things as well, because I don't want the channel to be FNAF. I don't, it is, at the moment. But it hopefully will become back to more sketches and fun just videos, and that's kind of where I want it to go. Uh, yeah, nearly at 200,000, I know. It's mad, it's just gone so fast. Um, oh, and there might also be the whole... Still haven't got 100k... Thing, the silver play button but YouTube have been in touch so hopefully soon uh, I can't wait for SCP-106 if it gets modelled well the thing is Michael Afton if you want can you make a Bloody Mary film sorry I'm, I'm totally bad around it there is a Bloody Mary film on, on the channel there is a Bloody it's a comedy short thing it's not uh, I see what you mean you mean a horror it's a comedy sketch but there is a Bloody Mary it's kind of scary at the start so if you want to watch something get a little taste of a Bloody Mary thing. There is one on the channel. Just look, look under Horrors, I think it is. Um, I can't wait for an SCP-106 if it, if it gets modelled. It would really be cool. Michael Afton, if you want to see that, please remember when the, when I put it up on the vote, at the end of the video, I'll put up a vote for the five selected uh, thingies. Please remember to, uh, to vote for it because otherwise, if you don't vote, it won't get selected as the next model. Peter, wait... What about the thing there that where there was a prop a capture? I, oh yes, yes, uh, Captain Red. I'm glad you said that. So that again, like I was saying, I want to start doing all the sketches again. That is one thing I definitely want to do. The problem, the what, the thing I don't want to do is get so kind of um, watered down with doing too many things that nothing gets done. And um, we were talking about this last week, and I, I think it'd be great to add in add a YouTuber as well which is a possibility, but um, it, it, it I want to get the FNAF stuff out, I want to get the FNAF films out of the way, done, uh, then, you know, there might be little FNAF stuff, but no more big FNAF films, because I know everyone keeps asking for the big FNAF films, and it's not fair, because everyone's been waiting for like two, nearly two years since the last one, 
and I know we've done the other little small ones. I'll probably still do the kids one because the kids love it and it's just they're fun to make and they're not very hard. But the big ones, I want to do that and then we will do that. And yeah, that will be the first one that gets to chopper, which means it's probably been a year. Uh, yeah, I really apologise for that. I'm sorry. Uh, are your sculptures really made with bubble gum? Uh, no. No, claim, but they're not. That would be really cool. Kind of um, sick as well because you'd have to chew the bubble gum to make it possible to mould to be spit and bubble gum, but no, they're not. They're not made of bubble gum. They're just three D. And these are these are yeah, these are three D printed. I'm getting my little penny one. Um, but the cool thing is, as well, this new printer will be bigger. So just for a laugh, I might just make a a massive My Little Pony. That'd be funny, wouldn't it? Just make massive random sculptures and just put them outside people's houses or something. Uh, what is the best film you think you've made? Says Colson G. Uh, it there's different ones for different reasons. I really like the FNAF movie. I'm really proud of it because Stuart and I put a lot a lot of effort into making the set and a lot of days filming it and then a lot of time with all the CG and the, actually all the prep as well, the script I wrote and all of that. It was a lot of stuff. So that is probably one of the one of the top films. But I think the Great Spill one, because it's an original film, it was made up in my head. So I'm kind of proud of that. I mean not, not the FNAF one was made up in my head, but obviously I had a core thing to base it off of. Um, but yeah, the, the Great Spill one. And then also another horror, short, very short horror, which is the Killer Clown one. Because it was made up on the spot, because we were making FNAF at the time for Halloween, but we knew we wouldn't get it out in time for Halloween, so we did this other film with Stuart's daughter, and it was, it, it was a very, very quick film, literally, I think it was like three hours filming, and then a few days editing and adding some sound effects and things like that. So it was like literally a couple of days' work, and it came out, I think, pretty well. The mermaid sketched. So, so, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. You said that before. That was funny. That was funny. It would be good to do some more silly stuff. Uh, can you see back to myth? Uh, that would be funny. Yeah, I mean it, that, that's, that's the sort of stuff that would be good, good to go back to. True kit gaming and more. Will you continue with the FNAF mini movies? When you say the FNAF mini movies, what? I mean they are, they are mini movies. I mean there's no feature length movies, right? So they're all 25 minutes long. Um, I def there'll definitely be a couple more, but. It would be good, like I say, I don't want the channel to be, which it definitely is at the moment, I don't want it to be just um, stereotyped into FNAF. Um, I want it to be a movie making and art making channel. That's the direction it sh it sh it's meant to be going in. And sketch, you know, just sketches, fun things. Um, it's just, it became a FNAF thing because we enjoyed it so much, but it's got to, it's got to find its way back to where it came from uh, but yeah there will be a few more itchy ear am I itching my ear a lot yeah I think I did have an itchy ear actually that's one of those things then you, you look back at your video and you say what the hell was I doing that for just like constantly please continue with facts or myth uh, yeah it's actually well if you can come up with more facts or myths then it's actually quite difficult to come up with them. Yeah, because FNAF can sometimes get old, says some random dude. Exactly. I mean, that's the thing. There's a lot you can do with it. And that's the thing. I could just carry on with FNAF. Like, there's so much there. But um, that's not... I, li I like to come up with original ideas as well. Um, oh, good one, Team Mandel. If you're doing a drawing right now, remember to put gallery and send it off via email to bubblegummonsters.gmail.com. I guess if you only had to water his cat, <laughs> yeah. Um, just imagine this like really sort of dried out. Maybe it's like a sort of like um, zombie, like Egyptian, like dried out cat, and he has to sort of water it or something. Him is it him it or hi uh, h i m it or h i m i t? I love this channel. Thank you h i m i t. I love you too. Uh, so inspiring. Oh, that's really good to hear. I mean, that's what that's the best bit is when people say I love your channel. Really, and we had some people that got into the visual effects because of watching stuff, which is crazy. Because, yeah, I do visual effects, um, and it's kind of what I've done all my life. But I've never, 
I've worked in the games industry, but I've never worked in like uh, the film industry and making effects and stuff. So to hear people that have actually gone on to do that, that's awesome. If you were in the Maze Runner, what would you do? Um, I would try to invent a jetpack and jetpack the hell out of there. Do you know what? I've only seen the first one and I quite enjoyed it. I think it's F3 now. I know there was a sequel. I don't know. I, in fact, that's on Netflix. Maybe you've, you've inspired me to watch that tonight. I think I might. You make some quite great content, says Cortex Vortex. I like that name. Cortex Vortex Studios Live. That's a really cool name. Uh, thank you. Um, sounds like you make stuff as well. It'd be good to sort of see, see the stuff you do. John Sweeter did answer my question on don't you do it for a living. Sorry, I was going shopping. Um, do not at the moment. It's kind of like in a kind of transitional state at the moment where... Yeah, it could be, um, but I still need to balance it with work, so it's not at the moment. My young nephews really like your videos. Cortex Vortex Studios. Uh, which videos do they like? It'd be good to know. It'd be good to know um, what ones they like. So, in fact, I'm going to speak to Rebecca about this before I, st I do it, but I will, on the next live stream, um, I will run a competition for... Uh, for you guys to win something, maybe one of, maybe one of them, or something, uh, because I think competitions are cool. I do plan on making content at some point in the future. Got, got some plans. Yeah, cool. Do it. You just got. I mean, that's the thing. It's very easy. I find anyway for myself to procrastinate. If someone procrastinate means it means basically having a plan to do something and then sitting there and doing the exact opposite like I don't know I'm gonna go and I'm gonna sculpt something and then like I'll oh, just check on YouTube just to see what's going oh look there's that new printer that looks really interesting or oh look Philip DeFranco's put something up or, I don't know <laughs> something like that and then you end up like three hours later and you still haven't done it so my tip tip for the day of doing stuff is like the Nike advert just do it just do it. or what's that guy oh one from indiana jones the the young kid oh, the annoying bloke from transformers and there's that there's that um video of him just going just do it do it i don't know if you've seen it you gotta watch it but anyway yeah just do it just get going as soon as you get going then and then it gets your creative juices going uh celeste hey celeste in the room i don't know what to say uh hey ma Ma, help, I don't know what to say. I can't remember what your voice... I do voices for different people. I haven't got one for Derek. Actually. I, if I could do a Scottish accent, I would definitely do a Scottish accent for Derek, because Derek is Scottish, but... I think Celeste was usually a big, high, squeaky voice. Uh, I don't know what to say. Or something like that. Uh, Scottish... Hit Peter, here's a weird thing. Here's a weird thing. She used to make 3D printed masks of each other oh god that would be weird wouldn't it that would be that would be like something out of um, like Halloween or something. <laughs> who is who is the boss best song to you who is the best song to you do you mean like what's my favourite song uh, I haven't really got one like like my, my all time classic is Imagine from John Lennon yeah Shia LaBeouf LaBeouf or whatever his name yeah that's it Shia I don't, you know, I don't want to say I hate him because I don't hate anyone, but I don't, I don't like that guy. Don't like that guy. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yeah, is that the title of it? Yeah. So check that out if you haven't seen Shia LaBeouf for Boff or whatever his name is, going. Then uh, check that out. Rebecca, I don't go to stream. Sorry about that. Pancake did. Hey, Pancake did. Uh, you don't have a voice for me, Peter. Says Captain Red. You don't have a voice for me, Peter. But you do now. There you go, that's your voice. Cap oh, it should be a cap you know, Captain Red. Um, use 3D printer to make a stick of gum. It's a bit boring though, isn't it? Like, just a <laughs> just massive 3D stick of gum. Um, and she said, I just... <laughs> I just love it when you try to do my voice. It makes me laugh every time. Celeste does sound like that. Check out her channel, Anti Celeste. She sounds exactly like that. 
Um, will you do a mini EP of like Foxy versus Kids or Freddy vs. A mini episode. A mini episode? They're only like a minute long. A minute and a half. So, yeah, maybe. Probably when they're not behaving, which they probably won't be like they usually aren't. So, I'll just get fed up and film them for like 30 seconds. And there you go. They'll be your mini FNAF versus Kids. Imagine all the people living life as one. I was thinking about this the other day. They did it on radio where you ring people up and then you see how long you can hold a conversation with them by just coming out with the lyrics for a song. And that is from Imagine. Um, Captain In. Hey, I'm 11 years old. You sounded like Captain Sham. <laughs> God, that'd be scary if you were 11 years old and had a voice like that. If you ever heard of the Fallout franchise, I bet you would make a great Fallout fan game. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, I've, I've never played Fallout, I know it. Um, but again, that, this is where I want to kind of just start getting away from the FNAF stuff and doing other fit stuff, other games and things like that. Because it would be cool. I'll teach you how to metal growl like I do, man. Do you do heavy metal growling? Like the, the whole, like they're, like, they're just like, I don't even know what they're saying. Do you like heavy metal? I thought this, um, there was this girl in the, um, the pub the other day the, the bar um, barmaid and she was really into that stuff and she liked she yeah loved all of that so I just I I just don't get it but I can definitely see you Derek in a heavy metal uh, band definitely uh, a Bowdy is it Bowdy I assume it's Bowdy Bowdy movie well the, what we'll do is we'll finish the FNAF stuff and then because I like doing the big longer movies we will make something as a longer movie while we're doing the spin the wheel silly sketch movies, right? That's a good deal, isn't it, right? Uh, Fallout would be amazing. The lore is deep and quite amazing. Yeah, it does look cool. It's okay, don't worry about... Um... Hash... Uh, why did you do that? Uh, I made... Sorry, I was just wondering. You spoke right the first time. Anyway, sorry. Um, it's sodium chloride. Just some random dude. More, can you make about his basic, 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 what is it, basic, basic movie? If not, could you play the games? It is fun, but scary at the time. It would be cool to do playing the game. It was a complete disaster playing Minecraft, though. It was absolutely useless at it. Uh, but it would be quite cool. But again, because it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a making films channel, I don't know if that's kind of dipped our toe in it. I don't know if that's the kind of thing you guys want to see us playing games. I don't know. I'm eight, and you'll never have a voice for me. I hope. See, T. Mando, you just you just said that because you wanted a voice, didn't you? You want a voice. I can't really do many voices though. Um, I'm just trying to think of a voice for like you. Uh, well, it could be really like a. Oh, put me under pressure now. I can't think of any voices for you. I'll come back to you. Do you have a voice? Oh, I'm not going to start doing all these different voices. I end up with a sore throat. I do. I, I've got. I've got one for Team Ellie. Hey, I'm eight, and you'll never have a voice for me. I hope. There you go. There's your voice. I'll never remember them. But you'll have a different voice next time you ask. Just some random dude. Uh, do, I think you could be like. Maybe you're just really posh. Because you don't start like, random dude. It's like you can imagine like a surfer, but maybe you're not. Maybe you're just like. Do you have a voice for me? Uh, I don't recommend doing a voice for me. Oh, come on, I'm stopping it now. I'm, stopping, I'm not looking at any more voice stuff. I'm not doing any other voices. Um, have to go see us. Thank you, True Kit Gaming and more for for tuning in. Um, obviously, I've really forgotten Team Mandel's voice. I was going to just do that. I can't even remember what I did. I would ask you to do a voice, but I don't want, I don't know, I'm doing a voice now. I'm sort of a bit like everyone could have been a bit of a mix of something else. I would ask you to do a voice, but I don't want your voice to die. Thank you. It's very considerate of you. And I still did a voice. I'm 11, but I have, I have quite a deep voice. Uh, please voice me. Maybe I should have a new channel just called Voice Me. Voice Me, Michael Afton. Michael Afton's English and he's definitely British. So it'd be like, Mira, please voice me because I'm bored. If I chat keeps this up, your voice will sound like your throat got destroyed by spring locks. Yeah. 
Stop asking for voices. I did not really ask for... I didn't ask... Oh, yeah, I see what you meant. I thought you meant me then. Yeah, stop asking for voices. I'm one years old. Yeah, of course you are. Uh, I'm glad to see you, Peter, said Pancake Dick. Yeah, no, it's good to see you as well. Right, okay, I'm stopping it with the voices. No, I'm not voicing anyone else, right? That is it. So, Friday, get your gallery, get your artwork in, get your pencils, your, your pens, your paint, or your computers for a bit of artwork for the gallery. Once you've done it, gallery in the title, email bubblegummonsters at gmail.com and you will get your very own bit of artwork up on a on a gallery. It may not be this week if you're too late, which is why you got to get them in quick, but it will be on one of the galleries, which we do every other Friday. So get it in. Oh my, I can't even, I can't even with this. It's too beautiful. Ma, <laughs> call an ambulance or something, says Celeste. Celeste is the only voice I remember because it's just like the most stupid high voice I can do. Yeah, Victor Milder, yeah. I don't believe it. Uh, okay, that's it. My guts are coming out of my stomach now. That's nice. Yes, there you go, says Rebecca, with the, the details. If you want to enter into the gallery, if you think you've got any talent, even if you haven't got any talent, if you just want to be creative, you know, it's more important to be creative than be talented because kind of being creative leads to talent. Um, and then just do it. Just, just do it! Put it on a bit of paper or, or on the computer, a bit of artwork, and I'm going to do another voice like Ben Kenobi again, but put a gallery in the title and post it to bubblegummonsters at gmail.com. Thank you. Peter, look up a program called Voice Mod Pro. I would, Yeah, there is one downloaded. Um, it wasn't that. But that sounds quite cool. Wait, my new work. Cool. That's it. I've looked. It's like, yeah, I've been going like an hour and 15 minutes. I'm sure you guys are all really bored of this now. So I'm going to stop and let you do your thing. And, uh, yeah, see, look, Team Mandel's going to sleep. So uh, that's it. That's it for today. Look out for the gallery on Friday. Look out for the kids versus uh, some new FNAF characters. Uh, well, say new what ones we've seen before. And that that is it. And uh, I'm so tempted to do Celeste's voice again, but but it, it, my my voice is clearly annoying. She says, um, I, "No, I'm not going to say anything. It's not. It's not. No, it's not. Of course, it's not. Not really. My voice is annoying. Doing your voice, that's annoying. Uh, are you looking for any actors? I'm interested," says John Sweet. Um. Where are, you, where are you based, John? I mean, the problem as well with acting uh, with people that we have for the films is you need to sort of kind of be nearby. Uh, so if you're in London, then that's cool. But if you're like halfway across the country, then it's not it's not good. Uh, yeah, Team Mandel, I know you think you're being really funny, but you're just going to get yourself banned, so don't do that. Um, but yeah, that's it. Yeah, I don't know where she wolf is, Pancake Dick. Yeah, I'm not sure. She's probably busy making a Terminator face or something, something really cool. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining. Have a good week. Until next time. Bye!